Hey folks, I'd like to introduce you to Savage Gear's real eel. The real eel comes in four sizes from 15, 20, 30 and 40 centimeters. And the small one comes in a pack of three with a jig head. And the 20 and the 30 comes in a two pack with a jig head and stinger. And the 40 centimeter comes with a jig head and a stinger. Let me just show you how to rig it up. It's very easy. When you buy the, the pack, you have the two wheels inside and you got a matching uh, relatively light jig head. So the kit you buy is basically designed to fish uh, the shallows. So this one uh, with a relatively light jig head uh, will run anything from half a meter down to about a meter and a half depending on your retrieve speed. So what you do is just line up the jig head like so and then you can see that you need to have your jig head come out on the back right there. I just make a small mark. There's a hook guide in the mouth. So basically just thread the jig, the eel on the jig, like so. And it comes on nice and neat like that. And you take your treble hook stinger. You put the treble hook stinger loop over the eye of the jig head like so. And it's then designed to go in the gat of the eel like that. So that's how simple it is to rig up the loose body eel with the matching jig head and stinger right there. Just want to show you a few other ways of rigging up the loose body reel eel. Uh, one of them is with the offset treble hook from the soft foreplay system and it's actually relatively simple. You just take the offset hook and you can see the, the distance here would make it perfect to just pop it in till you feel the hook guide in the center of the eel and then just follow the hook guide out through the mouth like so. So you have the eye coming out like that and then you just take the pin and pop it through the back of the eel and once again you can take the treble hook into the gat of the eel like that. So here you have uh, almost suspending real eel rigged up on an offset treble hook like that. Other ways to rig it up is with a weedless hook. This is the weedless hook from the soft foreplay. As you can see it has a very very uh, wide gate. As you know pike are uh, very difficult to hook on a, on a standard offset hook where the hook point is more or less hidden in the soft lure. This is why we rig it up this way uh, so that the hook point is actually exposed. One little trick to make this uh, rig even more weedless is to take a piece of fluorocarbon. This is a one millimeter piece of uh, fluorocarbon here and I've just taken my pliers and just cut it sharp like that. Then I just punch that into the bait just in front of the of the hook tip like so and then I just cut it down in a length about like that. So this one actually is like a gravel, a wheat gravel, uh, a wheat guard. So it just kind of makes it perfect to fish straight in the lilies or into the wheat like that. And when the, the pike attacks it, it just collapses down like that and you can set the hook. So for the real eel loose body, you have several options for rigging it. You can change the weight of the jig head, you can use a stinger, you can use it on an offset hook. It's actually a very, very versatile lure. Here are the most common ways that we use it is uh, with a jig hook and a stinger on a white gape offset hook with a small weed guard and on the offset treble hook. The Savage Gear Loose Body Real Eel, an awesome lure. All right, your real eel will get smashed up. You're going to get a lot of hits and a lot of brutal attacks from pike and they do hold up quite well, but just one little tip. You can actually melt them together with a, just a standard lighter like that or super glue. So I prefer to use the, the lighter, just uh, heat it up so the surface area melts a little bit and then hold it together and they're as good as new. Another thing is if the tails get bent or if they uh, get wrecked in the box or have some memory or something like that, just pour boiling water on them, let them sit in the boiling water for about one minute and they come straight back to life.
Hey folks, I want to introduce you to the Savage Gear Real Eel ready to fish version. So the ready to fish version have an integrated hook and harness with a treble hook on the belly and a jig hook on the back. And it's relatively heavy, so it has quite a fast sink rate, but it still looks very natural on the drop. The attach point is offset a little bit, so when you jerk it and pull it, it will shoot out to the side and make the most amazing action both on the retrieve, on the jig, and on the drop. Three sizes, 20, 30, and 40 centimeters. Inside is a small steel tube with a steel ball inside, so when you twitch it, it will actually click, click. Savage Gear Real Eel, ready to fish. I just put out a 40 centimeter Real Eel, and just Got nailed pretty much. There we go. That eel is absolutely gone. He's gonna come up now. Cannot even see the eels inside there. Right on the eel. Bam! We can get him up. Beautiful fish. Look at those green colors. <laughs> Check the eel out. That is pretty deep. Bye bye. But I'm back to fight another day. Bye bye. -bye. Right on the eel. Fish on! Bam! <laughs>